everybody, my name is Smash, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to another Let's Play, this time we are doing Halo, Combat Evolved. Uh, I have a couple of confessions to make, actually. Uh, this is not going to be a very good Let's Play, so I highly recommend that you stop watching right now, and uh, go watch somebody else, because this one's not going to be... whatever. Okay, so, uh, actually, I have two profiles here. Hmm. I'll make a new one. Let's call this one Smash 2. Actually, no. Smash Real. There we go. Okay. There we have it. So this is our level. This is my uh, practice run. And this is my awesome run. Except it's on easy. But this time... Alright. Let's do it. Let's see here, uh, is there any way, at all, that I can turn on the subtitles? I guess not. Color, that's for online. I don't really care about that. Okay. You know what? I really hate to do this. I really do. But, uh... I'm gonna try something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this on easy, simply because uh, I'm not very good at this game at all. And I'm also on a very tight deadline because I have to give this game back to my friend after I'm finished with it. So yes, this is also the PC version. And let's see what this says here. Your foes cower and fall before your unstoppable onslaught, yet final victory will leave you wanting more. You know what? That suits me just fine. Let's go with that. Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their stations. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. Secure airlocks on deck 11. Fort Lee platoon rendezvous with 22nd Tactical at Bulkhead and Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Men, put your eyes down range, fingers on your triggers, and we all go home in one piece. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. 
All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is going to be your lucky day. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! His tube shows green. Cycle complete. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. sir. We'll, we'll have, have you battle-ready battle stacked. Stack. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battle suit's diagnostics. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. This is not the same guy that was here last time. I guess it's randomized or something. Possibly. So this is basically just I know the tech um, take care of your the whole. Sensors. But we're short of time. Controls thing right Just now, so... Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking pitch, so you can see if you like it better that way. I, I don't. Try charging I don't like it better this way. What? How do you even... Is that better, or should I switch it back? No, I... Switch it back. Okay, try to <laughs> up and down again, please. Do you want me to leave it like that or switch it again? Yes, that's fine. Okay, I'll leave the pitch normal. But if you want, you can change it yourself later. Oh, yay, int! Yay! Please follow me to the energy shield test station. I'm sorry I don't have much time to do this LP. Otherwise I'd be skipping all this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. Also, I really, really hope that this recording turns out okay, because I, uh, I did it before. Yeah, I tried recording this thing before, but, um, for whatever reason, the video was extremely laggy. I think it still might be, but hopefully it's not nearly as bad as it was. Bridge to Cryo 2, this is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On the I double, Truman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Oh god! They're trying to get through the door! Security! Intruders in Cryo 2! No. Please! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here! This way! Oh, okay. And right on cue, there's the music. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Halo Combat Evolved. I don't know if I'm going to call it that, actually. Or if I'll just call it Halo. I have no idea. Uh... Nope. Get out of my way. These levels are actually extremely long. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to, uh... Oh. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to cut these up, actually. I'm aware. Okay, go. I'll explain all this in a second. Captain Keys. 
Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. And so we begin. <laughs> yes! Honestly, I really hope that I made a good choice in doing this game. Hope nobody's too disappointed. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. Ow, ow, ow. This pistol is actually a lot more powerful than, uh, than the uh, machine gun, believe it or not. It's also pretty good as a sniping weapon, so this is pretty much my weapon of choice throughout the entire game, and they just... It's the first one you pick up. That's pretty funny. I also use this, um, this machine gun quite a bit. You can only carry a maximum of two guns at a time. And this is pretty much the combo that I... The combination that I always, uh... Use yes, I know how to exist. Thanks. Melee attacks are actually really powerful too. Did something just hit us? Move it back to the airlock. Going after him. Yep, I could be playing this better. These guys are nothing compared to later on. They're nothing now. <laughs> Pick up an overshield. You can only carry one of these at a time. They're using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. Clever bastards. I don't know why they gave us a second one here, because, um... You can't actually pick up the second one to replace it until the entire shield has been depleted. So I'm not too sure why they would let such a thing... Whatever. <laughs> That's them. This flashlight will actually uh, recharge over time if you leave it off. I don't think I'll need it too often though, I mean, my computer's brightness is good enough for right now. Don't have my grenades yet. Nope.
There we go. Hmm. I know this is kind of a, a weird thing to be doing, uh... Even though I said I am not a huge fan of Call of Duty. I'm not really a huge Halo fan either. The thing is, this game is pretty cool. And it's quite literally my only chance to LP it, so I figured, hey, I may as well. May as well just do it, that way I can have another LP to my name. And one day when I'm completely out of games to LP, I can think, well, you know, at least I took the chance and... I did Halo, right? <laughs> may as well just do whatever I can. There we go. Also, these levels are incredibly long. This is the shortest one. Um, it's rather unfortunate because I'm not too sure how I'm going to be able to cut these up. There, see, that's what I mean. I'm using a... Uh, um, sorry. I lost about a fourth of my uh, energy sphere. Energy spheres. I'm still playing Kirby! I lost a fourth of my energy shield, so uh, can't even pick that up to recharge it again. It's dumb, but, you know, makes sense, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I don't even know. I usually like to use the melee attacks to just finish them off, because it's fast. You don't have to worry about expending ammunition, because you might be actually fighting for that later on. As much ammo as you can possibly get in a single level. Because you will be needing it, trust me on that. Covenant, on the landing above us. The only Halo that I've ever actually played other than this one, which I finished, was, um, uh, Halo 4, I think? I think it was. And, uh, we actually played it in class. And I was actually really bad at the multiplayer, but, uh, yeah, this is the only one, other than that, this is the only experience that I have with any sort of Halo game. You see what I mean here by the, uh, pistol being a good long-range weapon to be using really reliable. I like it a lot. Arguably the greatest weapon in the game, I think, anyway. Also, if you miss with a melee attack, keep in mind that it does actually take time to recover from that, as you can see. Oh, here we go. Life pods are launching. We should hurry. Here's a good example. To... Oh, I missed. It is a good long-range weapon, though. Closing. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. Thank you. I know how to play the game. Okay, here we go. Have to use the flashlight. Eh. May as well. This way. One thing that you'll notice about this game. Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Yeah. Let's find a safe exit. Yeah, one thing that you'll notice about this game is that it's the levels are incredibly repetitive, and that's one of We're the. We're too uh, close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get <laughs> to that door, but it's been damaged. Yeah. It's still talking. I know how to... Actually, I could have snuck up on that guy. Because if you do manage to do that, walking along, and then boom, you take him down in one hit. So it's a very good thing to know. I'm not really too worried about health and anything like that. I might die a few times. Probably not too often. It looks like the I don't even think we can... Yeah. 
Oh, here's a good way to... Always aim for the head as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> also, these guys run away from things if you start shooting at them. Which I think is funny. The red guys here are actually stronger than the orange guys. And they also go down. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. The, <laughs> the red guys go down. Um, well, the orange... Okay, the ones in the orange armor go down faster than the ones in the red armor. So the ones in the red are more durable. They don't get scared as easily. But they're still not a problem at all. So you just mull through them. Who cares? I gotta be close to the end here, actually. Going on 22 minutes already. <laughs> Lovely. Oh yeah, here we are. So now we have grenades. We can throw them. Obviously. That's what grenades are. Oh, I still have my flashlight on. <laughs> my bad. Okay, just one more. The damage to the superstructure is extensive. I don't know how much more abuse the automobile has. There's one last lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Anyway, I guess that's it, so, uh, I'll see you guys next time, if I can figure out. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. Make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Hell if I know. We're landing on it. The autumn. She's been hit. I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual.